Hey Auto Fiber team, I was asked to give you a little information as a detailer who is just starting out, things I wish I would have known, and I'm gonna to talk to you about that just after this. All right, welcome to Harker Heights Ceramic Coatings. Uh, you've seen our tiny little shop here um, many times, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my background and how that relates to detailing. So before I opened this business, I had a dedicated race car um, that was fully gutted, caged, and prepared for the track. And one of the things that we always talk about in the race car community is buy once, cry once. And what do I mean by that? It means you buy the best tools and equipment uh, straight out the gate if you possibly can, um, rather than buying a cheaper part that is either gonna fail or not work correctly, then forcing you to buy it again. Um, so you buy once, cry once, rather than you know buying a product and then its replacement shortly down the line. All right, so I'm not advocating for you to go out there and spend you know exorbitant amounts of money on things that are completely unnecessary. You hear us all the time talk about how we often use a Bissell extractor, for example, uh, other than a Mighty. Um, so there are you know, some exceptions, but one of the key things that you know, I wanna talk about with auto fiber is you know, cheap towels uh, are inconsistent, right? And so they can scratch paint. And so yes, I could go to Costco, for example, and buy a bunch of cheap towels, uh, but their manufacturing tolerances are low. And we talked about this in another video, uh, cheap versus high quality microfiber. So where I'm going with this is if you wanted a cheap towel, for example, spending a little bit more on our cost what shop rag, for example, would be better because it is more consistent than going and buying the cheapest possible towel. And that goes for just about anything, um, but we don't wanna scratch your paint, right? So if you buy once, cry once, you buy nice towels, you don't overuse them, right? You recycle them and throw them out when it's time to move on to a new towel. Um, you're not damaging the paint and therefore kind of, you know, you're buying the towel, it's cheap, you're save, you think you're saving money, but then it turns around and you're scratching the paint and you're damaging the car and you end up spending more money than you would have if you just bought the correct towels or tools from the beginning. The next thing I was gonna talk about is experimentation, right? You can't be afraid to do a little experimenting uh, on your own. A lot of people go straight to Facebook groups and you know they wanna know what everybody is using. And the reality is, and this also comes from having a race car, people will recommend the only thing that they've ever tried. Right, so on the race car forums, people will ask what's the best car suspension, just like in the detailing groups, people ask what's the best applicator. And what you find is people are stuck on one applicator or one race car suspension, and that's what they recommend with having very few experiences with other brands or types. So this brings up an interesting way that I discovered Auto Fiber a few years ago. I was using something kind of similar to this, like a Terry towel type sponge. Um, and I got it from the brand of ceramic coating that I started with. And the coating was seeping through, it was getting on my hands, you know, I was wasting a lot of product, right? And this goes back to buy once, cry once, right? So I had these cheap applicators that was wasting ceramic coating. So they were actually more expensive than alternative options, even though they appeared cheaper on the face. So I went onto Amazon and I started looking at applicators and I came across the auto fiber saver applicator. Now I had no idea who auto fiber was at the time and I thought that I discovered uh, gold and I did because our saver applicators have that barrier that prevent the waste of the ceramic coating um, from seeping through saving product. But the point is, is I wasn't afraid to experiment and try other products. And I tried, you know, the suede block, of course, when I first started, um, the ceramic coating company had provided stuff similar to this. And then I landed on the Saber applicator and that was the first auto fiber product I ever owned and tried and I haven't left since. The third thing I wanna talk about is proper and adequate lighting. So when I first started the business, um, I didn't do a lot of research. I painted the walls white and scratches and imperfections appear white to the naked eye. So if you see Rupus's videos and stuff, you know that black walls do a better job of making scratches visible to the naked eye, right? So you do need a lot of lighting to overpower that black wall. But something that you know, I wish I had known was, I wish I had known that before I set up the whole shop and then had to shut down, uh, move everything, and then repaint the walls black. 
But the other thing about that is the lighting in the shop, you know, you see all these LEDs all throughout our shop. You see it all the time. And we have floodlights that aren't currently on. And total um, lumens for all of that stuff works out to be something absurd, like 700 some thousand lumens in a 400 square foot space. So it's a really small space with a lot of lighting. But with all that lighting, you know, we can see you know, that this little mini hood, which is heavily, heavily swirled, um, we use this for showing clients different things. Um, it's swirled, right? But the difference is with this lighting, you can't see it as well as you can with the proper inspection lights. So I'm gonna switch from this LED lighting to our nine scan grip color matches that we have on all the walls as well as one in the center. And, you know, hopefully you can see this on camera, but the difference in seeing defects with those lights compared to your typical, you know, regular LED lights that you might find uh, from those companies, you know, that you see advertising all the time and they're not that expensive, is you can definitely see these better. Now, what does that have to do with towels and microfiber and everything? Well, if you recall, I said, you know, getting a cheap towel you know, you may be scratching the paint and not even realizing it if you're not using the right lighting. And even within the auto fiber line, we have some towels that are going to be more inclined to scratch paint than others. Some are super plush and some you have to be careful uh, with how much pressure you apply because they can scratch. Any towel can scratch if it's dirty or, you know, using the wrong pressure. But having the right lighting will identify that problem before you say, you know, do the whole work realize or not realize rather that you've scratched all the paint and then you pull the vehicle out into the sun and you see all this stuff that you missed. So having the right lighting, using the right towels, being willing to experiment a little bit are some things that, you know, I would impart on a new detailer as something that's helpful for running your business.